the French philosopher scientist Blaise Pascal created the world's first mechanical calculating machine. Known as the Pascaline, it used the traditional ten-digit decimal system and was correspondingly complicated to use. It was suitable only for simple addition. In 1671, the German mathematician Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz invented a more advanced adding machine. His stepped reckoner could also multiply, divide and extract square roots, a process it accomplished by a series of additions, similar to that used today in many modern digital computers. Initially, the next stage of development in calculating technology had little to do with numbers. In France, in 1804, Joseph-Marie Jacquard built a loom that was programmed with punched cards. Each card controlled a single movement of the shuttle. In this way, patterns could be created. Of all the scientists who dreamt of an automatic calculating machine, Charles Babbage's vision came closest to the modern-day computer. In 1822, Babbage presented his still-unfinished difference engine, which was designed to solve complex equations. Thousands of cogwheels intermeshed. In this way, algorithms were turned into complex mechanical operations. As Professor Babbage devised the first real computer with an arithmetic unit and a memory. He planned to feed in the programs with punched cards. The difference engine was never completed. This reconstruction of the unfinished machine stands in a museum in London. Babbage's problem was that he was completely dependent on mechanical systems. But a steam-operated automatic calculator would have weighed several tons. So this idea came to nothing. Babbage was at least a century ahead of his time. In 1890, Hermann Hollerith used the punched card principle to evaluate the results of the census in the United States. It's called a tabulator, and it works on cards. You put the card in here. Now, let's say we're talking about a white male, aged 35, who is single, lives in Maine, and came originally from Russia. You punch white, male, 35, single, main, and finally, Russia. Now you take the card out and put it into this press. Now, when you push this press down, these little needles here with springs on them either go through a hole or they don't. And if they do go through a hole, they make electrical contact down there. And that triggers these counters up here one click forward. Word of this spread quickly. Around the turn of the century, Hollerith's machine was rationalizing office work worldwide. 